Hello boys and girls, welcome to another late night session. Okay, so tonight we're going to be talking about the ERA Invincible and using the pin and count to get these mucky little pups open, okay? Because despite people think these are really, really common, okay? So what the way you need to think of these is like a precursor to the Fortress, right? So these were before the Fortress. Uh, they come in three varieties. So you have obviously this gold version, you can see the nips either side. Then you have the red version. Okay, hard to let above, yes, yes. Uh, a really good ID point is the bolt and the latch are very, very close together. And uh, last but not least, the earliest version, which is the oval hard plate all the way around, okay? Uh, and this system will work on them all and the tool will uh, open them all, which is good for us. Um, so basically these have eight lever heights, okay? Uh, and the levers are almost identical to the Viscount square notch levers and stuff like that. Uh, so what is important is we differentiate between highs and lows. So you can see I've made this little chart here. This is for a Viscount, but I've just drawn on a little number eight because I'm going to get a chart made up. And as you can see, we've got low, eight, seven, six, five, high, four, three, two, one. So what we need to do first is separate them into two. And this is so important because the actual number eight, if you look at the pin start there, is actually the tool height. So the tool height there is at an eight. So it is important that we try and differentiate between the eights and all the other laws. Sounds like gobbledygook, but if you're with me, you're with me. So first thing we're going to do is go into the lock, take a read of the levers. Let's just see if we've marked it there. Oh, just a little touch more. Let's have a look. Yes, and there you go. Okay, so... What I have is a distinct mark, I don't know if you can see that there, a distinct mark in position four and a mark in position three and five, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a read of the rear of the levers, okay? So have I made that key too flat? Oh, no, okay? So one firm press, and so, and then if I can just extract, might have made that a bit too thick. Oh, I have, but we've got away with it. Okay, so let me just zoom out a touch. Ah, there you go. So you can see that. So you'll see in position four that eight is quite obvious. It goes all the way down, okay? All the way down. And the fives are there, okay? So they're quite clear. Now, this is how we're going to do it, boys and girls. So... Let me just get my little chart out. Okay, so we know that lever position one is a high because it didn't mark, so we're gonna cross that out. We know lever position two is a high. Okay, so we're gonna cross that out. Now, we know three, four, and five are lows, so we're gonna cross these out. And we're quite clear that position four is an eight, so that is an eight. So the way I would do it, okay, if you go to position one, if you can just zoom in. Can you zoom in there, yeah? So position one is barely marked, so I know that that one is either a one or a two. So I'm going to load that with a two. Okay, if that makes sense. So, now position two. Come on, little rascal. Position two is quite a long mark, but we know that it is a high, if that makes sense. So it has to be a four, three, two, or one. Now, because it's a long mark, I know it's not a one or a two. So I'm going to load that up with a four. So there we go. Okay. Now, positions. Come on. Come on. Focus me. Focus. God damn it. There we go. Positions three and five, they look like shorter marks, but I know they are lows. So... I mean, I'm almost certain they're going to be fives, but we're still going to load them up with sevens, okay? I can pick up two or five, if that makes sense. So this is how I am going to load my pin and cam up. Two, four, seven, eight, seven. And hopefully we're going to smash the fucking back doors off the lock. So let me just get my tool out there. Uh, get myself started. Position one. So... Let me just get my chart out there. So I said position one, we're going to load up with a two. Okay. Turn that there. 
There we go, that's a two. Then we're gonna load it up with a four. Go on, get down. For whatever reason, that doesn't wanna go down. There we go, two, four, and then what do we say? Seven. Get in. Eight, seven. Okay, so we're gonna leave that one blank. Get to that. There's my seven. Get to five. There's my seven. So there is my final key. Uh, come on, zoom in, you fucker. Come on. Come on. There we go. And you can see I've left position four as a blank, if that makes sense. So all I'm gonna do, and I'm putting throttling on, but it is gonna be worth it. We can get ourselves seated, which we are. And then basically, excuse me, where's my fucking lines gone? Basically, I'm just gonna tap each lever in turn. So one, I saw, go to two. Two sounds correct anyway. Go to three, go to four, go to five. And we've got the fucking lock, guys. So, absolutely smash the fucking back doors off that. So what I'm gonna do is just show you the principle. So I do have some other locks here. Uh, let's have a look at this one. So I've already wrote the code on this one, guys, all right? So, we're gonna pretend that we took a read. So let me just put these pins back a second. Four. Come on, you mucky little thing. Seven back and put that seven back. Right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we took a read. Now, obviously, six, seven, five, seven are all the laws, so they would have marked at the front, and then we take a read at the rear of the levers. Okay. Now, just off that, you would load this up with a four. Okay because you'd be unsure if that's a four or a three, if that makes sense. Then you would load that with a seven, 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 seven. And hopefully we're gonna to get to fucking pick it open. So let me get you pushed in. That's a seven. That is a seven. So obviously we're not at the cord. We're nowhere near the cord yet. But we have the potential to pick up to the cord, okay? So I'll go to two, that's down. Go to three, that's down. Go to four, that's down. There we go. Okay, so I'm nowhere near the cord there, guys. But I'm gonna start myself at position one, and then I'm basically, I'm just gonna tick each one. So in, that's seated. So I'm just gonna test one. That's ticking, that's fine. Two, three, four, <laughs> Uncle Seffrey's method, it never fucking fails, never fails. Anyway, it's a work in progress, but you can see the potential, the potential, guys, of what can be done. Anyway, take care, dream big, on to the next.